All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh by Shimei Yahushai. I want to give double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who will well. Salutation to the men of the whole plan, same side elect. This is Brother Makazan from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be, you know, is Revelation 22 and 3. You know, if it's talking about, you know, all nations, including, you know, Israel included all the other nations. All right. All right. Mr. Luck. Yeah. So it's Revelation 22 and 3. If it's talking about, you know, all nations that are in the world. Right. This is Revelation 22 and verse 3. It says, And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of Yahweh and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. All right? So when it says there shall be no more curse, because you know the scripture says, and I believe it's Isaiah 20, 24, it says that the, the, the curse had overtaken the land. All right? So if the, if the curse is upon the people, as the scripture says, what what people is the curse on? Because Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15, it says unto Israel that all these curses shall overtake thee if we sin against Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. All right? So Revelation 22 and 3, when it says there shall be no more curse, it was speaking about the tribes of Israel. These people not going to be under the curse all right because the, let me just let me just prove a point here all right this is isaiah chapter 34 and verse 5 it says for my sword shall be bathed in heaven behold it shall come down upon idumia which idumia is the greek way of saying e edom all right which are the so-called white people all right and upon the people of my cursed judgment so not only are the curses upon israel not only are the curses upon israel the tribes of israel the negroes latinos and native americans the lord also says that edom esau or you so-called caucasians are the people of his curse all right you are the people of the lord's curse but does revelation 22 and 3 pertain to you edomites when it says that shall be no more curse now if it does then guess what obediah 1 and 18 says there shall, there shall be no remaining of the house of esau so then guess what if the lord putting away the curse then that means there is no more edomites but what Revelation 22 and 3 is saying that Israel will no longer be under the curses. We're not going to be the least of all people. We're not going to be slaughtered. We're not going to push into Nahum 1 and 9. We're not going to go into captivity and be oppressed anymore. Isaiah chapter 35. Let me read it real quick. Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 10. It says, And the random of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai shall return. And come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sign shall flee away. This is what it means in Revelation 22 and 3 by no more curse. Means we're not going to be destroyed as a people anymore. But the other nations, these curses that we under, they're going to be on them. So when the scripture says there shall be no more curse, it means there shall be no more curse upon Israel. But the curse is going to be upon our enemies. Thus said the Lord. Alright? Just bring one more precept here and then go into some else. This is Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 20. It says, Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For Yahaba Shai shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. So upon Israel, there ain't gonna be no more mourning and sadness. Alright? The Lord shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. He's gonna take away all the curses because the curses is the are the reasons why we 
oppressed and sad as an as a nation of people because of the curses all right but the lord can take away the curses from us and that is another indicator that we're not under the new covenant yet simply because we are under the curses still because the curses they were apart they were attributed to the first covenant all right they were tied in the curses and the blessings they were tied into the first covenant where if we kept the first covenant we will receive the blessings if we broke the, the, the covenant we will receive the cursing so now how could we be under the second covenant if we still under the curses but that's a topic for another another time all right so we're not under the, the second covenant yet we we are about to enter into it and that's when the lord gonna take away all tears from our eyes when we enter into the new covenant all right there's that then you know it it, it 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 will be said you know there will be no more curse because we we're not gonna be able to sin anymore all right but the other nations the other nations is you know you so-called white so-called east indians you japanese you chinese all right all you, you so-called africans all you nations the lord yahabash me and shai he gonna put the curses upon you thus say the lord all right this is deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7 it says what and yahabash shai shai thy god will put all these curses upon thy enemies and upon them that hate thee which persecuted thee so the lord gonna put all the curses upon our enemies and all these nations they hate us so the lord yahaba shimia shai he gonna put the curses upon all our enemies for all that they did unto us thus say the lord we're gonna receive retribution that is why he says um in in first in second thessalonians chapter one and verse five said the lord you know is a, is a righteous thing with the most high to bring basically to bring judgment upon them that trouble us and he gonna trouble them with all the curses that we went through as a people so now they're gonna be the offscoring of all people all right we gonna we gonna you know shake our heads and hiss at them we gonna narrowly look at look upon them we gonna cast them from in our midst all right all the things that they did unto us as a people we're gonna do it unto them in the, in the in the in the new kingdom the kingdom of israel which is which is right now being established through the lord's men all right because the scripture said the kingdom of heaven is within you all right the kingdom of heaven is within you all right this is isaiah chapter 51 and verse 22 it says thus said thy 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 um thy lord yahweh and thy god that pleaded the cause of his people behold i have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling and this is what the lord doing right now even the dregs of the cup of my fury thou shalt no more drink it again so we're not gonna go in captivity anymore we're not gonna be oppressed and this is the reason why he said there shall be no more curse because he promised that he's gonna take it out he's gonna take away the cup from us so revelation 22 and 3 was saying that the lord he's not gonna oppress his chosen people anymore the negroes latinos and native americans anymore but verse 23 but i will put it into the into the hand of them that afflict thee which have said to thy soul bow down that we may go over beginning with you so-called you know you 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 edomites all right you so-called white people the lord gonna bring curses upon you all right and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over so we saw we went what we went through through the transatlantic slave trade we would you know our brethren the the north american indians you know the caribs the Arabs, all of the all, all of us the scripture says the house of israel and judah were, were pressed together all right so we saw what all of us went through under the hands of the so-called white man and that is why the lord said he gonna totally wipe him out but all the nations they're gonna go into slavery thus say the lord they're gonna go into slavery they're gonna be oppressed they're gonna be the new niggers and the lord yahabash me or shy he's gonna put all the curses upon them thus say the lord 
All right? Thus said the Lord, Yahaba Hashem Yahu Shai. All right? The final precept here. This is Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 15. It says, For the day of Yahaba Hashem Yahu Shai is near upon all the heathen, which are all you nations that are not Israelites. The day of the Lord is upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, so as you have done unto us, his chosen, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. So you were part of the curses. The, script, the scripture says in Zechariah, you helped further the affliction. All right? So just like you helped to, min, to administer the curse, all the curses, guess what? It's going to be administered unto you. Let me, let me read this. This is Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 1. It says, Wanted thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled, and did it treacherously, and it dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with you. So just as you did, it's going to be done unto you, thus said the Lord. All right? And we're not going to be under the curses no more, but you're going to be under the curses. So Revelation 22 and 3 was speaking about the nation of Israel no longer being under the curses. Not all people. All right? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do real well. Salutation to the men of the whole plan, saying, say, elect. This is your brother, Mark Azar, from the Trin.com, saying, Shalawam, and stay strong. Shalawam.